Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brownie here. Today we'll be installing the R2 SpeedTech winglets. So it's a brand new company from Taiwan. Um, they've been doing this winglets for the race actually. So it's not your cheap AliExpress winglets. Um, it's a real deal. So let's unbox and install it. All right, so let's unpack this winglet. So now I know the winglet is made in two parts. So there's a bottom part and there's a top part and it's four pieces for left and right side. And they're really nicely made as well. I think it's printed, uh, but it's ultra light. The material is really light. I can't tell, it's not, it doesn't break. It's pretty solid. I can already tell you that, but you can see the branding, r to speed tech. It's very minimal branding. It looks super dope. Um, there are two holes on the side. So that's where the second piece is gonna come in and connect. So that's the bottom piece and it connects with, um, I think 3M double sided automotive tape, which is the best thing about it. Um, because I don't want it to punch hole in my fairing, so this is why I went with these winglets as well. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully I'm right, that I'm the first one in Australia to have these. Uh, so they come in pretty much going like that. And it just connects like this. And of course, behind it, there are like two screws that you will have to do to tighten it to like completely secure them the two screws there and this thing goes on the front of your r1 they look really nice and very aggressive these are actually the different one that i've seen in the market i have not seen winglets like these that was the, one of the reasons that went with these because everyone's using those um carbon fiber winglets and it just becomes very generic that your motorcycle and everyone else end up looking the same so There's a little bit of marks on top. This is probably just the, um, from the from the bag was, yeah, it's, it's gone. The moment you rub it, it goes away. So yeah, man, I'm super pumped to install this because I've been waiting for winglets for so long. Did a bit of research, but the whole website was in Chinese and I found it, then I reached to them on Facebook and they responded. And the support has been really helpful. I really, really like them. Um, so, you know, like check out, check out their stuff. They got a lot of tan grips as well. They also sent me a sample for the upcoming track, uh, grips for the track. I'll show you that as well. All right, so this is their grip they're working on. It's a custom sample they sent me to try it out and I'll see how it feels. Um, the grip is actually really good. It has a, there's like a suction pattern that kind of sticks to your, I guess, fabric, I would imagine, or I don't really know how it works, but, but yeah, they have this really unique pattern that I haven't seen. The company's really like, they're doing really good products, really unique that I haven't seen before. So you can see like you can bend it. Pretty neat pattern on this grips. All right, so I'll give you a little bit of um, demo how it works. So basically, once you plug plug these two like that, it goes on the side like this. Oh man, this is the nicest fairing I've seen. It sits in like this. I keep on saying fairing, I don't know why, but you get it, it's not a fairing, it's a winglet. So this is how the winglet sits. Looks nice and dope. I'll show you in the end how it all looks out once it's all fitted. But I need to clean this surface first with WD-40 because I had an R1 stickers here that I took off. So let's do that first. I'll do a bit of WD-40. Wipe it down. There's a bit of like a tacky goo that I need to remove. All right, so this is off. Now I'll probably wipe it down with a damp cloth. All right, next up, I wanna do Gion Prep. So this is pretty much a strong degreaser. It's actually something you use before you start doing ceramic coating on your vehicle. So it's just to take off any impurities from the paintwork. But um, since I have WD-40 and I wiped on with the damp cloth, I wanna use degreaser just in case if there's any residue, I can take it off. All right, I've cleaned both the sides. So now the winglets have a little bit of sticky feeling to it. Not sticky, it's a little bit like slippery. I don't know what that is. It's probably, it's a printed or I don't know. I don't think it's really printed. I'm just using probably the wrong term. It's really thick, you can see it. It's not skinny, it's very durable. I can tell you it's really durable. So um, I'll wipe it down, both the, both the panels, and then we'll fit it. Just a damp cloth with a um, degreaser. I'm just using that to wipe it down.
I love the branding. It's actually such subtle and nicely done. It's not like overly, you know, sparkly and it blends with the colors really well. All right, so now I'm gonna screw these two parts together. So it just goes in like this. And there's the screws at the back. All right. Trusty screwdriver. Now these screws, I don't know if, I can, if you can tell, but these are hex shaped and they're really small size. I don't exactly know what, what um, size it is, but you can say it also tells you the year number 2022 uh, YZFR one. It's run right here. I don't want to do it too much as well because since it's uh, plastic, I, it's, a, it's a pretty strong plastic, but I don't want to ruin the threading. So I'll probably do just when it starts to get a bit of friction, I'll stop right there. Yep, that's about a good amount. Yep, that's about a good amount for this as well. So yeah, this is pretty much done. You can see how it looks pretty nice. All right, so the paper also comes with the instructions how you should install it. It gives you the angle of the, uh, angle of the winglets you need to keep. So what I'll do is I'll put the winglets on and I'll kind of do with the temporary marker. I'll mark the lines where I need to make sure the placement is correct. So because the, the tape is really strong, and I have a wrap on. If it doesn't fit well, it's gonna pull the wrap. So I need to be very careful with that. But yeah, but let's do that. All right, so what I feel like when you put the, fair, put the winglet on and you kind of nudge it left, like left and right, it will sort of sit in the groove. So the winglet has a groove. You can see from there, it has a groove that kind of lines up with this line right here. So if you just put it on and you kind of sh like twist it a little bit and kind of move it around, you'll see it will fit right there. Yeah, it's not easy. Uh, put a dot there and a dot there. So now I know my points where I'm gonna put the winglet. So you can see this line, there's a lines right there. So this is how it's gonna stick. Oh, I hope it's correct. So you can see the winglet's been installed. Oh man, this looks dope. <laughs> this looks really, really nice. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of push, a press for a couple of minutes. So make sure it sticks properly. But yeah, it's not gonna come off, I can tell you that. Like, it's not gonna come off. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll show you the result.